Hey guys, Zuljan here. Welcome to episode one. Today we're gonna take a look at Farabell, which is a turn-based strategy with a crazy twist. You actually start out at the end of the game. Your character is as powerful as it's going to get, and uh, as you go, you kind of get weaker. Like your body slightly weakens, and some of your powers start getting taken away. That changes the the complexity of the game. But it's a turn-based strategy game, and I played a uh, game called. Um, Rogue Wizards a little while back and it kind of reminded me of that so I thought I'd take you through the first 15-20 minutes of gameplay to show you how the game kind of plays out so you can make a decision for yourself based on whether you like it or not. Uh, the game is going to be available on this Friday actually, it's the October 14th of 2016. So we're going to go ahead and go with a new campaign here and I'll kind of show you how things go. I'll play just a little bit of the tutorial just to make sure that uh, that we knew that we can continue and uh, it'll go a little bit into the story since time immemorial the, the king and the high priestess of Farabel or Farabel have been able to alter the passage of time the power which has been passed down from generation to generation the king can manipulate the last few moments while the high priestess controls the hours days and seasons the magical abilities have granted peace to Farabel and several centuries over several centuries but magic goes his own way in the spark and topple kingdoms all right so the black mountains the first war in centuries is coming to an end indoor and azuk have no other choice but to face each other uh and our hero is kendor uh which is a level 13 it looks like uh i don't know maybe calvary or hero unit anyway earn victory with no fatalities to get this store so basically we can uh, we can get like a store bonus or whatever. Uh, it shows the killed units, lost units, and turns. Average player is 9.6. Best player one. <laughs> I don't know how this goes. Okay, let's just get into it. The Black Mountains. All right. Hopefully the sounds okay here. Okay, so this is our units. There are the orcs. If we don't slack off, the war will be over by tonight. Uh, but ideally, the priestess should be able to pull off at least one magic spell. Hey, it's been ages since I last used my powers. Give me a moment to find my berries. Alright. <clears throat> that was a little loud. <laughs> that, that throat clearing kind of threw me off there. My lord, please remember that discretion is better part of valor. If, you, the, if the high priestess were to perish, the battle and the war would be lost. Alright, that's fair. Your turn back time ability may be used in many different ways. For example, it can allow you to double the attack of one of the units. So you can move here just by scrolling to the sides of the screen here with the mouse or I use the W, A, S, and D keys. And you can also select which unit is going to move as they move. Um, so you can see here that we have different types of units and if you hover your mouse over them, It'll kind of show you what their stats are. This one has 18 hit points, 5 movement, 2 armor, um, 1 attack, uh, but 8 strength. And its flavor text is clip clop clip clop. So we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of cavalry units, our knights I guess. Uh, there's this high priestess, uh, there's also the crossbowman, and there's Krendor, which is our hero. Now, as we said, the turn back time ability is pretty neat, uh, because we can select um, the I guess you can say the different ways that we can kind of rewind stuff and it doesn't undo the turn it only undoes the movement of a unit and the attack so basically it just gives a unit an extra turn and I'll show you how this works so let's click on the knight here and we can go uh, directly to this space and we got a charge ability here and you can see if I hover over the knight um, oh actually it doesn't show but up there, passive ability. The unit receives a plus three strength bonus when it makes its movement in a straight line, minimum three hexagons. So, we're gonna attack here for nine. Its strength is six and the unit's defense is two. So, we should do, uh, normally we would only do four damage, I believe, but because we have this charge ability, it changes our strength up. So, let's go ahead and smack him. <laughs> All right, so we doubled the damage. Now, check this out. If we take hey. our hero, wow, the sound is so loud, man. Hold on, let me turn that down just a little bit, you guys. Sheesh, I don't want to deafen y'all or scare y'all. <laughs> it kind of scares me, actually. Okay, um, so now that we have this, we have these special abilities up here. Uh, let's go turn back time, and we're going to turn back time on this unit that actually just moved. Okay, so he's going to go back to where he was before, and we can actually select him again. 
uh, and make the same charge and attack the unit again. And we can use that actually three times. Uh, and now the sound volume is too low. You can't hear anything. All right. So that, that got that out of the way. We killed that unit. And there's a few other units on this side of the screen here. And it looks like this is the bad guy. The Ballistic Troll. Level 10. 20 hit points. So he's going to probably be pretty hard to take down. Let's get most of our units in range here. I don't want to move too far up yet. Especially with this crossbowman. Uh, I just want to make sure that... Is this a crossbowman? Yeah, it sure is. I want to make sure they're on the back line here. My priestess is going to stay back here. And I'm going to have a clear shot on the knight here. And that should do me. We can just go ahead and in turn. Alright, looks like the troll's on the move. They're getting in a little bit closer here. You can actually fast forward, which is pretty cool too. Okay, so... Let's get our hero all in the mix. That way we have the best option to rewind time. Uh, what is the range on these crossbow units? If I do get here, I will be able to attack. So I think we'll, that'll work here. And it didn't do uh, an incredible amount of damage, but it did do some. Now this knight, this won't be in a straight line, but I can move in a straight line here. So let's do that. Let's get the charge ability going here and attack. And I don't know if I'll be able to use my ability. It looks like I have one turn left before I can actually do anything like that. Um, we're going to go ahead and move here. Let's get the crossbowman. I won't be able to hit from there either, sadly. Alright, and the knights... Trying to get it to where they can attack in straight lines, you know? This looks like it would probably be pretty good. Not quite, but oh well, it'll work. I want to make sure my healer is in a decent amount of range here. Let's do that. Okay, I think that's our turn right there, you guys. Let's go ahead and end it. And we just got struck twice. Dang, he's going to get hit hard right here. Okay, thankfully the units are moving up and not just trying to kill him. Let's see what the troll does. Okay, apparently the AI is not too smart. They could have actually done a lot more damage than that. Okay, so let's see here. I can still hit this guy with my archer. Okay, that was eight damage here. So if I charge with my knight, oh, we got to move a minimum of three. Actually, we should be able to do it right here though. Minimum of three. One, two, three. That'll be it right there. Okay, I did get the bonus. Alright, he's dead. Beautiful. Now, I can move here. That was nine. Very good. Now, I should be able to rewind right like that. And that's going to turn back time. There we go. And I can do that again and knock that unit out. Very good. That'll take a little bit of pressure off my um, my guy here. Unfortunately, uh, I think I need to come back here so that I can get my healer to heal. And we should have War Heal. Restores eight, unit, 8 hit points units for friendly units in 3 hexes. Oh, it actually does an AoE heal. That's beautiful. Uh, but good, my knight is, my knight is back uh, in order right here. Okay. Let's get a little bit closer. I don't know if line of sight has anything to do. It Apparently it does. Yeah, it'll show me before I actually do that, which is kind of cool. I need to pay a little bit more attention to that. Everybody else should be pretty good now, though. Let's go ahead and intern. The first scenario is bound not to be too hard. Um, I think that's by design, even though it's like the end of the game and you're super powerful and it seems like it would be more complex. It's just the kind of the way the game is laid out. Similar to what the first level of any game would probably be like. Alright, so let's see here. Um, I think what we're going to do is... I could move here. Let's do that. Okay. We can probably almost take this guy out here. I think I'm just going to go here. Can I? I can attack him. 
I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Does this guy have an attack at all? No. I can go here and finish this guy off. I think that's probably going to be the best deal. And right here, I can't get to this guy at all, but I can get here. Beautiful. And what I'll do is I'll just move my priestess up. I guess I'll get all in the mix so that I can heal most of the units at the same time. And it'll be good. Alright, where's this troll? This troll is still on the outskirts. That's good. That's good. He can't really get to where he's going to shoot with the bow. Wow, he hit me directly. That's okay, though. That's okay. Okay, turn five. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Azuk. That's not too good. He's got... What is all this? There's a lot of... He's got 100 HP? What? That's better. What a dog with a walking stick. I'm sure we could have worked something out. Now might be a good time for uh, a bit of light time travel, don't you think? <laughs> I'm working on it. Try and stave them off for a while. We're almost there. Wow. Objective. Kill Azuk the Unseeing. Alright. First, uh, we have to <laughs> take care of uh, what we have currently going on here. Okay. I am going to move here. And... I need to make sure that all these units are healed. There we go. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Let's finish this unit off. Alright. We are pretty much safe. Now, I'd like to get to where I can actually attack this guy, but I don't think that's going to happen with these units. It does not look like it, does it? That'll probably put him in range. Their range is pretty insane here. Tell you what. Let's just get ready to attack the oncoming guys here. I think that's what we'll do. I can't attack this guy? I don't know why that's like that. Uh, we'll, we'll see though. Maybe he's just not in range? I'm not too sure. Okay. God, he's out. These guys are huge, man. Okay, turn six. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I can't attack him. Let's do that. This will give me a cavalry charge. Beautiful. I'm actually going to rewind time and allow that to happen again. I can't quite yet. Okay, let me do it now. Alright, and this unit, I'll have to go a little bit further to actually do that. There we go. Okay, we hit him pretty hard right there. Let's get to where I can still attack him with my archers. 100 hit points is a lot to take down, but being that we already hit him for 30, that's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna go here. And I'm going to use my heal again. Okay. That puts those units at maximum right there. Um, I can hit him from here. We're going to take care of this guy back here with these two cavalry units. I don't know if you get any bonuses from being behind him or whatever, but we're doing okay. All right. Uh, also, I have these rage abilities that give you plus one strength. Uh, and the move range. You could use them once per, I think, once per entire battle. I'll see how that goes. Man, he hit me pretty hard right there. These units ain't no joke. This is gonna hurt bad. I have a feeling he's dead. <laughs> okay, so I did not get the star for this mission. <laughs> I figured that probably wouldn't happen on my first round though. Okay. Um, we can do a little bit of damage here, so I think we're going to. In fact, uh, I think, let's see here, 64, I need to get a little bit out of range. There we go. Okay, my priestess, 
is going to go back here for now. So I don't want her getting hit at all. And let's use Rage right here. Okay, and since he has Rage already active, let me go at... Well, I can't rewind quite yet. What I should do is probably just go up to him and attack him. And that's exactly what I am going to do. Okay, he's down to a little bit less than half. We're looking pretty good right now. Uh, let's go ahead and in turn. Oh, did I miss attacking with my guys? I think I did. That's alright though. Man, these guys are gonna really hurt. Thankfully, they split the damage up. I don't know what happens when I just kill Azul. I think the scenario is probably over after that. But we'll see how it works there. Alright, let's take this guy out first. Just so we can't incur any more damage and we make sure that we kill him. It doesn't appear that there's a hit or a miss mechanic. Looks like when you attack, you just hit pretty much straight up. Okay. I'm thinking here that I should get a little bit away and let my healer heal me. Uh, I wonder if I can go here and still attack. Yes, I can. Okay, and my healer can get here and heal everybody. Good. Beautiful. Okay, and as far as getting in that range, I don't think that's going to be a good idea. I really don't. Because these guys are probably going to move down and attack. But I'm going to try it anyway. We have 25 hit points. I can take quite a bit of damage. He's at 33 now. I want to dish out as much as possible. I can still hit him from here too. He's going to be even lower. That's awesome. Alright. And I think we're pretty good now. Let's go ahead and in turn. Next turn we should be able to take him out. Counterattack! That's a beautiful... <laughs> I didn't even realize that was a possibility. Uh-oh. They're still attacking the, um... My cavalry units there. Okay. Now this is where it gets dangerous here. Okay. So. Let's do as much damage as possible. Okay. If I go... I can hit this guy, or I can hit this guy, even though I can't hit him as hard as I'd like to, I'm still going to do it. Okay. Um, tell you what, let's go here and attack. And I can kill him. Well, that was awesome. Ooh. He's mad. <laughs> Alright. We won the war. So close, too. Yes, I've worked out the magic formula. Now now to cast the spell. No! Okay. What just happened? Victory! Turn 9, turn 8, turn 7, turn 6, turn 5, turn 4, turn 3, turn 4, turn 4, turn 4. Uh oh. It's going to back us way up. Congratulations, the Black Mountains! Uh, it sounds like the sounds need to be leveled out a little bit. Uh, you lose one development point, so I'm actually level 12 now. Level down. What a strange mechanic. Congratulations on your fir first victory. Here's a description sheet of your character. Uh, he has lost experience by traveling back in time, and it's up to you to decide the attributes to decrease. Wow. Uh, so we could bring down strength, vitality, counterattacks, regeneration, attacks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I don't want to bring vitality down any. I think I'm going to bring... I think I'm going to bring counterattacks down. Wow. And it goes into the next scenario. Well, guys, that is going to conclude episode one of the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did... 
you can give me some dab on that like button. You can also check out the description below for the links to the uh, the game. It's going to be released on Steam on the 14th. And uh, I think it's also going to be on the Humble Store and itch.io. Uh, but at any rate, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. And uh, that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.